<laughs> this is Supercar Ron with his 1500 horsepower Trump Lamborghini Storato. <laughs> his channel is primarily a car channel, but Ron himself is a conservative and avid Trump supporter. What's up guys? This is my 1500 horsepower Lamborghini Storato. This car is unbelievable. It rips and it makes <laughs> all of us better humans. Look, here's- God bless America. The thing, I put a Donald Trump wrap on my Lamborghini and while many people like it, a lot of people don't like it. So I've gone out of my way to placate people that are voting for the other side. I think that's a fair thing to do. So on this side, I've got my 1500 horsepower Lamborghini, which represents Donald Trump and all that he has accomplished. I've seen some comments online. Why would you put a Trump wrap on an Italian supercar? In my opinion, Lamborghini is an awesome car brand to represent Trump, freedom of expression, freedom of speech, power. I think it's spot on. On the other side of the aisle, I have just I spent my own personal money wrapping my Primo van. <laughs> this van is not even street legal, but it actually doesn't matter because Kamala let a whole bunch of illegals into our country. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. <laughs> you know, what can be. I'm going to give you a quick personal tour of the Harris Walls van <laughs> and show you all the little details. All right, guys, you might think that this is a Harris Walls van, but it is a troll van in disguise. We've got Kamala Harris here with her U.S. Border Patrol outfit, but she's, you know, wearing a blindfold. We got crazy eye walls, Kamala in her McDonald's hat. What can be unburdened by what has been? Kamala really thinking through some uh, complicated math equations here. So much joy, cackling with joy. <laughs> We got a vampire too. <laughs> then we got to roll to the back with the iconic Joe Biden wearing a Trump hat. Trump at McDonald's, I'm loving it. Shout out to Supercar Ron for doing cool shit like this. Give him a follow. He is a Trump supporter and a cool dude. So here's the thing, guys. It's no secret um, that I am heavily invested in policy that aligns on the more conservative side of the aisle, okay? But I think we should let the people today speak and use their voice as we drive around in both of these vehicles and get people's takes. This is such a great analogy or representation of the state of America right now. A busted ass old van <laughs> under Kamala and Biden or a Lamborghini under Trump. All right, guys, we just pulled in uh, to this gas station here. We're gonna be asking people who they're voting for, Trump or Kamala, and if they say the right answer, we're gonna pay for their gas. You voting Trump or Kamala? Oh, for Trump. Trump, here you go, it's a straight gift card. Thank you, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> we got the Latino vote. That's one, that's one in Utah, guys. Oh, yeah, thank you. you. Yeah, what do you think of Kamala van? Trash it, man. Burn it. What Trash it. Burn it. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Sovino's my guy. Sovino, you're the man. Let's it. go. Hey, who are you voting for? Trump or Kamala? Um, I'm not voting, no. Say that again. I'm not voting. You're not voting? Ooh. Why not? That Kamala better not win. Oh. Get out and vote. Come on, people. Let's go. Oh, yeah. yeah. I Here's would a straight die. gift card. I love you're it. No We're the same people. Thanks. Yes, you're voting Trump, right? Yeah, oh, for sure. Go. I have a question. Are you voting Trump or Kamala? I don't know, dude. You don't know? No. Okay. Well, can I help you decide? Are you voting for Trump or Kamala? That's a cool question, man. I want to take a picture with you guys. Hey, listen. <laughs> are you voting Trump or Kamala? Who else is common sense? I don't know. Mm -hmm. who, uh, who are you referring to? Who are you referring to? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to answer the question. You know, it's uh, you've seen those yard signs, the Harris Walls, obviously. So obnoxious. <laughs> What's Kamala's biggest accomplishment? I can what tell has she you accomplished? that she is fully, like, for, like, our people. Like, She's money for aside. Our people. Money aside. <laughs> she is for our people, money aside. To survive, to live, to have a livelihood, you need 
money to raise a family, to own a home, to buy a car and the gas for your car, for your groceries. You kind of need money. Hey, how are you? Good, We're polling people. Who are you voting for? Trump. Oh, let's cool. go. Let's <laughs> go, dude. Let's go. Where, where are you parked, by the way? I'm in that key over there. Okay, did you already, do you need to fill up? I just filled up. Oh, dang it. Have you seen these bakeries that make Trump cookies and Kamala cookies and then they pull the customers? <laughs> I think they do a better job than some of these modern pollsters, to be honest. It's Trump or Kamala? Uh, I'm a Trump guy all the way. Oh my God, right <laughs> How did here, I know? Dude. Are you filling up right now? I just did already. Oh, you just did, okay. Can I give you a swig gift card since you're my Trump homie? Oh, my wife would love A swig gift card. Tell me you're from Utah without telling me you're from Utah. <laughs> Hey, question for you. Question, Trump or Kamala? Kamala, all day long. Kamala? Yep. Why? I, I don't even think that has to be explained. Like, come well, on. Can you point to a something great or an accomplishment of hers? Well, she's the vice president, isn't she? Well, but what is she? Uh, such a standard liberal answer. She's the vice president. What else? Let's see what else. She done this what did Trump do? Well, can I, no, 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 I'm just saying, are you only voting for her because you hate Trump? Um, yeah. no, I don't care. I'm proud to be for, for Harris. Oh, I they love it. I love yes. it. And we're having a very respectful dialogue, yes. right? So, can you just tell me one thing she has done for our country? Like, point to an issue um, or a policy? Well, one thing that's big what for me yeah. is uh, um, the, um, the Inflation Reduction Act. There's <laughs> um, um, um. The Inflation Reduction Act from the inflation that Biden-Harris caused. There's several things that we could go into. Okay, but, but, but why did we have to have the Inflation Reduction Act? Because of inflation, which, which was because of over. the pandemic. Not because, okay. of, not because of anything Biden did specifically, but also Biden's not the one running. You think Kamala's going to be a much better leader? Absolutely. Because she passed or helped pass the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, um, she has more than the concept of a plan, right? <laughs> I talked about this in another video. Trump did have a plan to replace Obamacare back in 2020 in his budget proposal. Do you know who should have an active plan and actively be looking for better programs for health care? The active sitting president and vice president of the United States, Harris and Biden. Not Trump. He's in his off season. <laughs> But does she though? That's what I'm she asking does, people. Absolutely. So, well, the biggest so. issue for me is Roe v. Wade. Okay. Okay. I'm. Women should have autonomy. And I Kamala can't bring back Roe v. Wade. Let the states decide. If you don't want to live in a state that has an abortion ban, move to another state. There's no way all 50 are going to ban abortion. But hey, I'm just a man. I can't tell women what to do with their body. So I'll let Megyn Kelly do it instead. I want you to know, women who are thinking about voting for Kamala based on abortion rights, she cannot pass an abortion law that covers all 50 states. She neither has the power nor the votes to do that. You lost when the Dobbs decision came down. And no Supreme Court is going to overrule Dobbs. They may overrule a precedent of 50 years ago. They're not going to overrule one that was handed down two years ago. What you need to do is accept the half a loaf you've been given. It's not a federal law. It's not a federal issue. It's not a constitutional issue. It's a state's rights issue. Get out of the states that have the bans if this is very important to you. Otherwise, be glad that we are back to the 50 state experiment that the founders envisioned. I think that she's going to help prevent what you know, the Project 2025 is... Okay. Trump has long disassociated himself with Project 2025. Trying to do. Which the Trump team has disavowed entirely. Over and over and over. But it says his name like 200 and something times yeah, in it. Someone and else wrote something and put Trump's name in it. How is that Trump's But fault? isn't... Um, Man, Supercar on is based. Um, my morals and my ethics are more in line with Trump. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, Tell me your name. Christine. You are a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. Who are you voting you. for? I, Trump, like, and it's not <laughs> even close. Voting? It's funny how most people <laughs> can't even have a conversation without getting like really um, emotional bother, like, like like if they get challenged on their on their issue it's like dude what has come on the done like i hate you like i hate you i'm like dude you guys are like the definition of the intolerant left dude all right guys we're gonna go to the mall real quick just drive around ask people who they're voting for are you voting trump or kamala of course trump man hold on hold on 
Here's a Swig gift card. You don't talk about it. All right. All right. Come on. They're, they're Kamala voters. Like, there's a lot of Kamala voters out and about today, man. Are you voting Trump or Kamala? What? Are you voting Trump or Kamala? Oh, Whoa. Kamala. Hey. What's up, brother? Can I take the picture? Are you, of you? Are you voting? We love Trump. You voting Trump? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. right. Come here, check this out. There's a gift card to Swig. We love Bill. My brother, what's up, dude? Hey, how are you? Take the picture of you? Yeah, of course, of yes. course. Yeah. Yeah. You voting Trump or Kamala? A Trump, come on, oh, man. Oh, my dog, know? my dog. There come we go, on. here. Here's a Swig gift card, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay, hold on. Wait, 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 let me record it. Let me okay, record all right, it. Hold right, on, right. hold on, hold on. Ready? You tell all me what? I'm ready. All right, ready? Let's hear it. Oh. Trump or Kamala? Oh my gosh, Trump 100%! Oh, let's go! My people, my people! Are you voting Trump or Kamala? <laughs> That's a Kamala! <laughs> Who are you voting for? I'm not. Oh, come on! A of politicking today. We've had some good conversations. I, I hope that the people that we've conversed with uh, didn't take any offense. Like, big props to you guys that are willing to be challenged and try to defend your positions. Um, you know, I think I think it's pretty obvious where I stand uh, and what I'm working on and trying to get, you know, some really good people elected and for the right policies to be in place for our country. So honestly, guys, I think it's 50-50. We met 50% that were probably Kamala supporters, 50% uh, that were Trump supporters. So that was a good, fun day, kind of testing the water, seeing how people are thinking about this uh, upcoming election. So Utah is interesting because it is a red state, but you can go to pockets of Utah, kind of where I live, more out towards daybreak, where it is heavily, heavily skewed towards Kamala Harris. It's interesting to see how many people were just not voting at all, which is how I was. When I was voting age, I was still living with my parents in my parents' basement. I didn't really care about taxes. I didn't really care about who the president was because it really didn't affect me. It wasn't until I got out of my parents' house, got my own home, got married, that I actually started to care more about politics. I think the left's tactic to lean on celebrity endorsements works well for these people who have never voted before or are not considering voting. Because you see your favorite celebrity, you see Taylor Swift, you see Cardi B saying you should vote for Kamala, you say, hey, I like this celebrity, I will vote for whoever they're voting for. But if you take just a little bit of time and look into the facts, you will see that Trump is the better candidate. Just watch any softball interview from Kamala Harris versus Trump or J.D. Vance on the Joe Rogan podcast, and you'll see the stark difference between the two. Have you already voted yet? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Conservative Vibes. I'm CV, and I'll see you in the next video.